Okay, so you're welcome once again. So here we want to start looking at um, implicit differentiation. And so um, remember that so far what we've looked at, we've always had y being isolated. We have things like say y is equal to x cubed plus 2x minus 1 or y is equal to x cubed plus 2x all over 3x squared minus 2, right? We've always been able to isolate y. Now the question is what happens if you have expressions where y cannot be isolated? Or even if you can isolate it, you end up getting um, a very complex expression, okay? In that case, how do you find the derivative? How do you find dy dx? Okay, so these are some examples to show how to do that. Okay, so to apply implicit differentiation, you will consider, so for example, for x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, to find dy dx, instead of isolating y first and finding dy dx, consider y to be a function of x, okay, and then apply the chain rule to it. All right, so um, this is easy. We know how to find the derivative of 2x squared. We know how to find the derivative of 1. Those are easy. How do you find the derivative of something like y squared? Okay, so you would consider y squared, y to be a function of x. And so what you do is that you apply the power rule first. This will give me 2y, all right? Then you have to multiply by, because y is a function of x, multiply by the derivative of what is in here. So multiply by dy dx, because y itself is a function of x. So in doing, in applying implicit differentiation, when you have y squared, the derivative of y squared will be 2y, all right, using the power rule, times the derivative of this function, dy dx. And so this will be the derivative of that. Okay, if we had y cubed, it's going to be similar, right? If we had y raised to the power 3, to find the derivative of this, you use the power rule, you're going to have 3, y subtract 1 from here, 2, but you have to multiply this by the derivative of y, so dy dx. Okay, so that is really basically what is um, referred to as implicit differentiation. You can't isolate y, but you want to be able to find the derivative from the expression. So let's use this uh, examples. Let's use these problems to illustrate how to uh, apply implicit differentiation to find the derivative. So 1, x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. To find the derivative, find the derivative of x squared, which is just 2x, right? The derivative of this will be 2y, right, multiplied by dy dx is equal to the derivative of 1 is 0 because it's a constant, right? Okay, so from here we, we solve for dy dx. So from here, this implies that 2y dy dx is equal to, if I take this to that side, I get negative 2x. Actually, the 2 is just cancel off anyway, right? And so I can solve for dy dx, and I get dy dx is equal to negative x over y. Alright, so dy dx is equal to that. So instead of first trying to isolate y and find the derivative, if you just apply implicit differentiation, you get dy dx in a much easier uh, way. Okay, number two. Number two, we have. Have, um, y raised to the power 3 is x squared plus 4y, right? Here we can't isolate y, so how do you find y dx? To find y dx, find the derivative of this. This will give me 3y squared. Remember to multiply by the derivative of y, because y is considered as a function of x. Derivative of this guy is 2x. Plus, 4 is just a constant. Derivative of y will be dy dx. Okay, 
So I have dy dx here, I have dy dx there. So I combine them and factorize dy dx out. And so from here, I'm going to have 3y squared dy dx. I bring this, I have minus 4 dy dx is equal to 2x. Okay? So you can factorize dy dx. So I have dy dx is out. So I have 3y squared minus 4 is equal to 2x. So I divide by this guy and I have dy dx. So dy dx, let's come here. So dy dx will be equal to 2x all over this factor, 3y squared minus 4. Okay? Good. So really that's how you apply that. Part of number 3. Number 3, we have sine y, the sine of y, sine y is equal to x squared. Alright? Even if you isolate y into sine inverse of this, it will be difficult to find the derivative. So apply a chain rule, the inverse differentiation. Okay? So what do you do? We know the derivative of sine y, right? The derivative of sine, we know it, it is cosine. So this will be cosine of y, but you have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, dy dx, right? By the chain rule. And this will be equal to the derivative of this, which is 2x. In this case, it's easy. We can easily isolate dy dx. So dy dx will be equal to 2x all over cosine of y. Okay? So that is uh, how you find the derivative of y here. Here, this is very similar, right? Remember, we talked a lot about this in the previous uh, lecture. For we have e to the y is equal to 2x. Okay, to find the derivative of the exponential, right, if you have e to the 2x, remember we said the derivative of that would be, find the derivative of whatever is here, which would be 2, and multiply by just the exponential to the whole function. Alright? So here, we find the derivative of whatever is up here, the derivative of y will be dy dx. So I have dy dx multiplied by the whole function, which is the y and that is equal to the derivative of this is 2. And so dy dx I write through by e to the y and I have dy dx to be equal to 2 over e raised to the power y. Alright? And that will be the derivative of um, this expression. Okay, good. So we are done with implicit differentiation. I may come your way with more examples. Oh, maybe not.